I hope you all are fine and doing your work very well. Welcome back to EBS class. My dear students, in the last session, we have learned one topic that is physical features of India. Alright, do you remember what are the physical features of India? Yes, very good. There are different physical features such as northern mountains, northern plains, then Indian desert, coastal plains, peninsula plateaus and islands. Alright, these are the different physical features of India. Now my dear students, in today's class we are going to start new lesson of EBS second that is plateaus and highlands of India. Alright, in this lesson we are going to learn about these peninsular plateaus of India. Okay, so here we have to write down the name of lesson in notebook. So my dear students, take out your notebooks and write down the name of lesson in your notebook. The name of lesson is Plateaus and Highlands of India. Okay, what is the name of lesson? The name of lesson is Plateaus and Highlands of India. So here while reading this chapter, we may come across with some new words. So that new words are keywords that are plateau, peninsula, highlands, deccan, central highlands, malwa plateau and volcanic eruptions. What are the keywords? The keywords are plateau, P-L-A-T-E-A-U. Plateau, Peninsula, P-E-N-I-N-S-U-L-A-R, Peninsula. Then, Highlands, H-I-G-H-L-A-N-D-S, Highlands. Then we have Deccan Plateau, D-E-C-C-A-N, Deccan Plateau. Then here, the next word is Central Highlands, C E N T R A L. Central H I G H L A N D S La Central Highlands. Okay. The next word is Malwa Plateau. M A L W A P L A T E A U Malwa Plateau. Then the next word is volcanic eruptions. So here V O L C A N I C. E R U P T I O N S Volcanic Eruptions. Alright? I hope you have written these keywords in your notebook. Okay, students? So let us start with the lesson. So here we have a physical map of India which shows different physical features of India. As we know that there are different physical features. Such as northern mountains, northern plain, great Indian desert, coastal plains, peninsular plateaus, and islands. Okay, so here in today's class we are going to learn about these peninsular plateaus. Okay, so here as you can say that it lies below the northern plain. On the the north side we have northern mountains. Below that means in the south of northern mountain we have northern plains and below northern mountains or to the south of northern mountain we have peninsular plateaus. Okay, so in the last lesson we have learned about peninsula. Can anyone tell me what is mean by peninsula? Yes, the land form which surround by the three sides with water. Okay, what is mean by peninsula? Peninsula means a land which is surrounded by the three sides with the water. Okay, so here in the west, in the east and to the south we have water. So this land form is peninsula and as you can see this, it is triangular in shape. Peninsula is triangular in shape. 
okay so here as this is triangular in shape we call it peninsula okay and as we all know that plateau means the land which is slightly higher than the surrounding lands okay suppose this is the land and the land which is highly or slightly raised is called as plateau understood what is plateau yes the land form which is slightly raised with the surrounding lands and as we can say that it is plain at the top or flat at the top like a table okay so let us see about this peninsular plateau this peninsular plateau lies between the below the northern plains and it extends to the southernmost tip of the india okay from where it start it start to the below of northern plains or to the south of another plain and where it extend it extends towards the south tip of india understood so here we can see this region as peninsular plateau so my dear students this peninsular plateau is again divided into two parts okay and that two parts are because of the narmada river which flows here okay and this narmada river divides this plateau into two parts that are central highlands and deccan plateau okay which are the two parts that are due to narmada river okay due to narmada river this plateau is divided into two parts which are that two parts that two parts are central highlands central highlands and which is the other part of this plateau that is deccan plateau which part is this deccan plateau okay so here deccan plateau why this plateau are divided into two parts or two regions and which are the two regions that are central highlands and deccan plateau this central, central highlands lies to the north of narmada river and this deccan plateau they are at the south of the narmada river understood okay now here we have this the this plateau surrounded by the all side with the different hills or different mountain okay here these are surrounded with the different hills so here we have aravalli hills which hills we have in the north west it is surrounded by the aravalli hills which hills aravalli hills then here we have rajmahal hills which hills do we have to the north east we have here rajmahal hills and here we have the western ghats and here eastern ghats okay to the east we have eastern ghats and to the west we have western ghats to the north west we have aravalli hills and to the east north uh, north east we have rajmahal hills understood good let us revise one more time these peninsular plateaus they get divided into 
two parts that are central highlands and deccan plateau and this because this is because of this narmada river flows from here okay and this narmada river divide these peninsular plateaus into central highlands and deccan plateau now what is mean by highland highland means the mountainous range okay or the mountainous land which include the smaller mountains understood why we call it as highlands because it includes mountainous lands understood good so here the central highlands and deccan plateaus we are having due to the flowing narmada river understood okay so let us see let us see the features of central highlands as we have here to the north of the narmada river we have which land central highlands what is mean by highlands highlands means the mountainous land okay or mountainous river means it includes smaller mountains understood what it includes it includes smaller mountains and to the north of the narmada river we have this central highlands understood so where this uh, central highlands lies it lies to the north of the river
north east understood from the south west these rivers flow towards the north east direction example some rivers are flowing through this central highlands are betwa chambal and sam okay these are the three main rivers that are betwa chambal and sam these rivers flow through this region okay which region that is malwa plateau and one more important river that is damodar river which river damodar river this river flows in the region of chota nagpur okay in which region that damodar river flow yes very good damodar river flows into the chota nagpur region okay and there these three rivers flow this betwa chambal and sam these rivers flow into the malwa plateau okay now we will revise one more time the feature of central highlands okay the central highlands they lie to the north of narmada river okay then they are wider to the south uh, sorry to the west and they are narrow to the east direction understood what i said they are wider to the west and narrow to the east direction okay then they took place or they formed due to the volcanic eruption understood why these central highlands form because of the volcanic eruptions which took place long ago okay then here there are different rivers which flows through this region and that rivers are betwa chambal and sam these are the three main rivers which flow from the south west to the north east okay and these rivers flow in the malwa plateau region and one important river that is damodar river which flows in the chota nagpur region all right now we will see some features of malwa plateau okay now we will see some features of malwa plateau so here the malwa plateau lies between the aravalli hills and Here in this, it lies between between Aravalli Hills and Vindhya Ranges. Okay, what are these Aravalli Hills? These are different types of hills. Okay, as we have know, as we uh, know that it includes the smaller mountains so this vindhya range is having smaller mountains it uh, as you can see which states are there yes some part of rajasthan and some part of madhya pradesh okay the lies in the madhya pradesh that is mp Black soil helpful to grow 
Deccan Plateau. 